Okay, I'll play a little more. Only, only love can, uh, only love can, I can't remember the name of the bit. You're close. You're so close. You got the first, you got the first word anyway. And you actually got the first and third word correct. <laughs> I'll get you, I give it to you? Sure, give it to me. All right, that is only time can heal. Only time can heal. heal the wounded. Sorry, only oh. time can heal the wounded. <laughs> only time can heal the wounded. Correct. What do you do? You remember uh, what record that was from? Uh, I was writing. Uh, I had joined up with uh, a writer, a friend of mine, uh, in New York. We had been living in New York, and uh, we started writing a little bit uh, for I forget what album that was, but uh, a guy named Gerard McMahon. And uh, we actually got we actually got together in my hotel room. We were staying at the Plaza Hotel in New York. I had a day off, and I had a keyboard. And I said, "Come on over. Let's see what we can work out." And uh, uh, he had some lyrics, and I had some ideas for how the how the changes should go and the melody. And we put it together, and we made a de- I think we made a demo within you know within the rest of the afternoon. We had a, we had a list of at least a little hard a little, little hard drive demo. Uh, that sounds recent. That sounds like it's, it's a recent song. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Play it again. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue on. Here we are. <laughs> Well, there you go. I, I just gave it away. You did. You remember what that so was? That was, uh, that was Donnie Dacus, uh, and I think that was Hot Streets. That's right. That's right. And so that was the one record that you didn't, you, 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 you strayed away from the uh, from the, the, the number in the records. And you just interrupted it and called it, it called it. How come, what was we it? Got a lot, we got a lot of flack from the fans that the fans were like disappointed that there wasn't a number. Probably the OCD fans. <laughs> nice. All right, cool. You ready for number three? Okay. Okay, here we go. Anything? Uh, is that... Is that... Uh... I can't remember any of the names of the songs. Should I go play uh, a little more? I think it's Chicago 8. Wow, you got the record. That's impressive. Chicago 8, and it's... Uh, uh, I can't remember the name. Want to hear more, or you want me to give it to you? Uh, you could, if you'd have time. I'll play a little more. Here we go. It is not. It's not. Um, no, I can't. I can't remember it. It is long time no see. Long time no see. Yeah. So that was the seventy-five. And what do you? So what do you remember about? You obviously remembered the record. So what do you? What do you remember about that era? Uh, seventy-five. Um, well, Terry was obviously still with us, yeah. and. Um, and Chicago 8, we would have been recording at Caribou Ranch in Colorado. Um, but I think I wrote that song, I wrote this song in my home studio uh, in California before going up to Caribou to uh, do pre-production on Chicago 8. Okay. Um, and also the thing about Chicago 8 is that it was one of, it was one of the single disc uh, albums we did after having done a lot of double mm-hmm. multi-disc albums. So, th- so uh, we were uh, we were having to write if we wanted.
wanted to have more songs, we needed to make them shorter. So, uh, so that was kind of the the exercise, and that was the underlying uh, that was the underlying thought while we were recording that you know we can't we can't do these long solos and stuff like that if we want to have a lot of songs on one on one album. Correct. Very good. From uh, Chicago 18. Chicago 18. Um, that was uh, that was after. I don't think we. I don't think that was. Was that with David Foster? David Foster produced that album. Uh, I'd have that. I have to look up. Yeah, he, I believe he did. So that was probably the last album that David did with us. Uh, we recorded that album uh, mostly at his studio in Malibu. Okay. And um, that was a song that I had written with um, uh, who's the Toto guitar player? Oh, Steve uh, Lukather. Luk- yeah. yeah, is that right? Yeah. So Lukather, yeah. Lukather, and uh, another 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 guy uh, another guy came to me and said, "Hey, we want we need lyrics for this. Can you help us out?" So okay. Uh, You you are no it is not. It's not. It is not Chicago twenty two. You're close. Well actually you're not close, but Yeah, it sounds like um something we did with Peter Wolf producing. Okay. And it might have been Stone Sisyphus album. You got the right record, yep. You hear a little more? Um, I'm not sure it'll help me remember the title, even though I wrote the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the the song is called "The Pull." Yeah, the pull. Yeah, so that was a that was a strange record because you guys recorded it well long before you actually released it, right? Yeah, I mean, when we recorded it, it would have been Chicago 22. Oh, okay, so it became 32. <laughs> All right. So what? So what? How come that album? What happened with that one that got got uh, delayed? Uh, we. We were still with uh, Warner Reprise, and um, we were with a new a new producer uh, for us, uh, Peter Wolf. Okay. And we had come off of some pr- pretty big hits, and they were kind of expecting the ballads, you know, a lot of ballads. And we did give them a couple of ballads on that album, but they did, you know, we played them, we played them the stuff. Uh, we were really excited about a lot of it because it was it was like even a rap tune on there, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, on that album, so uh, we uh, we played them the album, and they said you got to go back in studio and record more stuff. And we said, you know what, this is a, this is what we want to do. So let's just uh, agree to disagree, and we'll say goodbye to you. And they <laughs> they waved goodbye. <laughs> there were no tears. Right. And uh, we just we just uh, carried on, but we were very proud of that 